We're about to have dinner with the composer of Rise of the Beasts. Still can't get over that. What is happening? Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Oh, Bonzo, it's good to meet you in yes, person, sir. man. It's Come the man in. behind the music, man. I'm just trying to hold on for dear life. Yeah. <laughs> Alfonso, this is Optimus Prime. Transform and roll out. guys so it is 4 30 a.m i am in town in my airport or in my city my hometown and we leave in about two hours to go to new york which is insane i just wanted to say um this is crazy this is wild i don't know what's happening i mean i know what's happening but i don't believe it um, I'm gonna try to vlog and film as much as I can while also record and, you know, do what I can do. But I just, I'm sitting here having some coffee at four in the morning, waiting for a flight to New York to meet the cast, crew, and director, Peter Cullen, gonna be there too, for the red carpet premiere of Transformers, Rise of the Beast. That's what I'm doing, right? Like, that doesn't, that doesn't make, that doesn't, that's not settling. Um, I'm just, I'm just like, what am I doing right now? That's, that's where I'm at. Um, maybe when I land in New York, it'll be a little different, but that's my thoughts. Um, I, I'm going to try to take you guys along the journey and vlog what I can. And obviously I'm going to cover the event. That's why they're letting me in. But We're gonna make history this year. I mean, I, I thought this year was gonna be memorable from TFCon, you know, meeting Peter Cullen and meeting a lot of you guys. But this, man, this is unbelievable. <laughs> so I'm gonna follow up when I land or wherever I go. I'll try to vlog some stuff as we go forward and holy crap i'm going to new york i've never been to new york i've always wanted to go to new york there's so many places i want to go i don't have that much time to do it but i'm gonna do the the major things i've always wanted to go to new york bro this is crazy and i'm going to brooklyn where the movie is set in to watch the movie i i'm i'll see y'all soon <laughs> i'm gonna try to reflect a little bit more and uh, yeah I'll see you in Brooklyn. Rise of the Beast premiere. Here we come. I've never been on these. This is my first time doing this. I've never even seen these, like, anywhere near where I'm from. So I just checked into the hotel and I'm freaking out. <laughs> what is this? What's happening? Bro, I I'm I'm just I'm pacing. I'm pacing around. I am This is I'm in New York? Bro, I'm in New York. What am I doing here? <laughs> what the heck? Guys, I'm in Brooklyn. I made it to Brooklyn. I am in New York. I caught a glimpse of the Statue of Liberty on the way here. I caught a glimpse of the One World Trade Center. That thing is massive. Bro, 
everything here is larger, like the landmarks are larger than I thought they'd be. You can see them from like miles away. We're here, Alphonse Nation. We may touch down in New York, baby. It's my first time here, so I have like the first time jitters. Like, what the heck is this world? Like, it's a whole nother world out here. I'm waiting on my buddy. I'm not alone. Um, I do have a friend, my boy Nick, a fellow exec, arriving as well. He's gonna be helping me, he's gonna be accompanying me, and we're gonna kind of do this together. He's gonna be arriving too, which is awesome, because I don't know if there is a way, I don't know if I would be willing to do this solo for my for my first premiere, first red carpet. But anyway, that's just my little, it's my reaction. <laughs> and I'm gonna charge my devices and collect myself. I'm in Brooklyn. This is my view. It looks literally like Brooklyn, like the set of Rise of the Beasts. Like, I feel like I'm on set of the movie. It's freaking cool. I'm having some evening coffee, and I'm waiting on my guy, Nick's plastic shelf, to arrive. He's gonna be here in a few minutes. And um, another surprise turn of events, we were invited to dinner. <laughs> by the composer of the movie, Jonik Bonton, and some of the other Rise of the Beast personnel behind the scenes invited us to dinner. So we'll try to make it head over to Manhattan where they're having the dinner. So that's an unplanned thing that just kind of came out of nowhere. Um, so yeah, it's just so crazy how I, I interviewed the Rise of the Beast personnel, you know, the like the composer and director. But like after I connected with them, like. We've been socializing and chatting and hanging, like talking, like getting to know each other. So it's like, we're friends, I guess. It feels that way. I don't know. It's, a lot of stuff is happening right now, but I'll just take you guys along the journey. I need some coffee because I had like four hours of sleep and a long travel day. Look. <sighs> Man, Who man. it is? It What's going, up, dude? my guy? How's it going? Welcome. You did it, Nick. Oh man. A familiar face. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. So what are we doing? It's so reassuring. Never been to this spot, so well, I've never been to this. <laughs> the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> Nick is here. Hi. We're about to have dinner with the composer of Rise of the Beasts. Still can't get over that. What is happening? And we're, we just saw the One World Trade Center. It's actually, no, you can actually yeah, you can. legitimately see it. Oh, I thought you could see it from there. Well, anyways, we're going to go in there and eat. Speaking of the composer. Thank you. What's Thank up, you. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Alfonso, pleasure to meet you in yes, person, sir. man. Hi, nice how are you? Alfonso, hey. this is my buddy Nick. Nick, Nick. pleasure to meet you. I was Good like, what is you. going on? <laughs> what is going on? Well, we are here. <laughs> We're here. Late. Yes. Rise of the good. Beast, man. Oh my goodness. Come the on man in. behind the music, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to hold on for dear life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I call him the all spark of music in my interview. Oh, I know. oh my goodness. <laughs> Come on in, man. Yes, sir. So yeah. he did an interview with me, the one with Steven, nice. and he's here for the preview. Well, not preview. Preview! preview. Dang it! <laughs> so I'm excited to see the reaction. the reaction of the audience feeling from that. Yeah. So hopefully it sounds good in that video. Did you hear it yet? Cheers! 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 Cheers. 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 To JB! Oh, to JB! To JB! Cheers, Nick. Let's go. Cheers. Pasta. 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 Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, we did it. Yes. Alright guys, so we are waiting for our Uber and we just had the most amazing dinner with Jonique. Ah, uh, good morning guys. It is... Monday, it is uh, the big day. Um, we have a free day pretty much in New York, so we're gonna do as much as we can. And then the premiere is tonight. 
I'm actually watching the movie too, which is like, I'm trying to balance the fact that I'm here and I'm gonna be among these people and this is this huge event. But then also like, I'm actually watching the film. <laughs> I'm not just like in this event, but it's like, it will end off with the movie. So Rise of the Beasts finally after, how long has it been? Like since it was first announced and then also just like in general, like since the last night, like a movie of this scale. Bumblebee was great. It was a nice like filler, but this is like a, a, a huge film. And this is the first time since the last night. I'm just getting ready and we're about to head out shortly, grab some breakfast some coffee. And then um, you guys actually don't know that I'm out here yet at the time I record this. So I have to go film the video to reveal where I'm at. And then we're gonna continue with our day. Last night was insane. We got invited to dinner with the composer of Rise of the Beasts, with the post-production supervisor, with the head of PR at Paramount, and some other folks. And then Randy Spinlove, the head of Paramount Music, just pulled up. <laughs> that was at the end of the night. And we're all just like cracking up and laughing. And I'm like, I'm like the only YouTuber there. They're all like super official people and they invited us. So it's insane, but a lot of stuff is just happening and I'm trying to figure out life. Major stuff going on. This is a huge year for the channel, 100%. The breakfast, guys. Mail. Turkey sausage, bacon. Let's go. Some eggs. An ATM for pancakes. That's yeah. That's what this is. Oh oh oh. That's magic. Oh, yeah. Let's go. We had the battle in Brooklyn a couple days ago. Now we have breakfast in Brooklyn. The battle for breakfast. The battle for breakfast. Rise of the breakfast. <laughs> The mix master? Yeah, and, uh, Revenge of the Fallen. Oh, yeah! Yeah, they used a little bit of... In Revenge of the Fallen, he landed on, uh... Yeah, he was on top of there and knocked him Bro, that is insane! We in Brooklyn, baby! Oh, I'm hyped now. Look at the freaking One World. Like, we're in the middle of all of it. I gotta go over there. All my words are gone. Oh, my. That is one of the... Biggest bridges I've ever seen, bro. Look at the view. What is this? I am truly speechless. This place exists. The Brooklyn Bridge. The place where Optimus Prime himself drove. And this is also the lake or the... What is this? This is... Um I don't even know what body of water this is. I don't even know either. But this is where the Terracons landed. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, you're right. The Terracons landed right next to the bridge. <laughs> oh my God. Alfonso Nation, we're here. We've arrived. We are at the Brooklyn Bridge. And look at all this. This is insane. This is insane absolute marvel what do i do i'm like some old louisiana kid in the one of the most popular cities in the world like what is <laughs> happening oh yeah that bridge is way bigger than it looks on camera so we just left the brooklyn bridge it's behind us but we're going to the the famous like alleyway for pictures and photos. Same thing. Yep. And videos, I meant to say. And do that and rise of the beast stuff after. Wild day. Let's Wild go. Day. We're under the Brooklyn Bridge. It's 
so cool. New York. Yeah. I think, I think this is it. I think this is it. This is it. There it is. We made it. This is the alleyway cool. of the famous pictures. With the Brooklyn. Is that the that's not the Brooklyn Bridge, is it? Uh, no. no, that's not it. Okay. I think it's a yeah. Guys, we made it to the famous place. The alleyway in Brooklyn where everybody takes photos. And as you can see, that's what everybody's doing. <laughs> Center of the street. There it is. That's freaking crazy, dude. That's gorgeous. We made it to Brooklyn, boys. And we're riding Rise of the Beasts this evening. That's nuts. Look at this place. Look, look, look at it. Look at all this. This is astonishing. <laughs> all of this is sick. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. It's a beautiful thing I love. Oh my god. I've, I, what the heck? I think they were that massive. That's the most sickest thing I've ever seen. That is the most sickest thing. Octopus Prime. That's life size. Try not to act up. I'm trying not to act up. Ooh, I'm trying not to act up. I'm in public. I'm in public. There's a billion people around here. I don't want to scream and run, but I want to scream and run. Look at that! Look! 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 look. The poster. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. This is this is. It's a city of streams. Look! There it is! <laughs> Rise of the beast, baby! We are at the week of release! This is the week. Bonzo Nation has arrived. I finally got to see the statues. Bro, Pride looks amazing. In person. The, the weathering, like the dry brushing. He's not like shiny. He's like dingy and beat up like... Battle Ward. Primal looks ridiculous. And they're life size. That's literally how they look in like relative to a movie, like to the, the film. This is insane. Made it to New York. And I finally got to see the Rise of the Beast statues, guys. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. We did it. How you guys feeling? What's up, Mario? No, okay, thank you. Thank you. I don't want to leave. I, I, it's so serious. That's what I'm talking about. We with the statues, baby. My hero. That's the closest I will ever get to seeing my hero in person. Primal looks dope, bro. They really are massive. No, I'm okay, thank you. Yo, yeah, we can get a picture, sure. Oh, Sonic, Sonic in the house, okay, yep. Transformers Rise of the Beasts. In theaters. June 9th, 2023. And if you don't know, watch step. Now you know. Very important. We have to go around. Thank you. I'm just saying that, um, Cake is my favorite dessert, you know, I'm just saying. Hey, yo! Something's big on the horizon. <laughs> I'm standing guys, behind Optimus. Optimus Prime got a comedy club tonight. They ain't shit to do. It's on 7, 9, 11. Okay. Comedy Central Day Chappelle Show MTV. It's the Broadway Comedy Club, so they're always funny. It's very strange okay. TV credits. I got you. They've been around like almost 30 years. Yes, That's sir. why I sell them. All I'm right, cool. These tickets, if you want to help support my, like, you can buy them online or at the door, but if you want to help support my drug habit, it's great clothes and stuff. So I always say that shit. Yeah, yeah. I get stoned. It's not really drug anymore. Nah, it's all good. So, we are in the room. We're having some, as I quote, delicious pizza. Let me tell you something. This is another level. <laughs> New York pizza is another, like, species of, of pizza. This is some, like, Sicilian pizza. We're eating, we are vibing. Um, and yeah, we're probably gonna just hang out until the premiere. We did everything on our list like before 11, around 11 or like noon. So we went to see the Rise of the Beast statues, went to Times Square, went to the Brooklyn Bridge, shot the reveal video, kind of walked around, had fun, even went to that little alleyway, the little famous alley spot for the bridge. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the most of what we wanted to do. There is a Rise of the Beast like mural, like painting with Prime and Primal, but we just saw the real statues. So when I looked at the distance of where that is from our hotel, it's like about an hour. And I'm like, do I want to drive an hour to look at a painting <laughs> when I just physically almost touched Prime and Primal? So, and Times Square was incredible. Few hours until we get ready to go to the red carpet. Can't believe I just uttered those words beyond insane. We learned that it's possible that Michael Bay Michael Bay may be there. 
He's here in New York, so it's possible that he will be arriving at the red carpet. That will be, that's the biggest thing for me. Like, uh, this channel exists because of his movies. <laughs> like, and, you know, he introduced me to the franchise. And even though, like, you know, the films are not my, not all of the films are my favorite, I enjoy that entire era. Like, that's a, such a staple part of my childhood. So to be near the man that created all of that, the good and the bad and the ugly, but the good is what I am appreciative of. And like, it's going to be wild. Anyway, um, the, tonight is Stephen Cable Jr.'s night. Tonight is Junique Bon Tom's night. Tonight is Anthony Ramos's night. It is Dominique Fishback's night. It is this reboot of a movie. It is the reboot's night. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a little bit of a fit reveal. Still like sharpening them up, you know? But this is the red carpet fit for Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Spend some time. This is a very expensive blazer. Um, this is really nice. It's velvet. You can really see it. Got a little pocket, got a little matrix chain. I was gonna do the Terracon chain, but the gold doesn't really match this gold. It's not, it just doesn't stand off. And a hill, we got the Cheetor slides. We got the slides with the cheetah. If you don't know, now you know. So, that's a little bit of a fit reveal for the red carpet, and we are departing soon. My guy, my guy. Check him out. We are rolling out to the red carpet, y'all. What is going on? What's going on, man? This is happening. Holy crap. It's about, to, about to happen. It's going down. It's going down. All right, let's roll. We have arrived, Alfonso Nation. We have made our arrival to the red carpet premiere of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Oh my God, dude. This is my first red carpet, so I'm just like, what the heck? While also trying to get into like serious press mode. Um, so we have about, what time is it? It is currently 5.30. 5.30. So we have until, we have an hour until the talent arrives. Who's that? So the figure he's holding. Oh, he's, yeah, that's the little mini statues that, um, that Stephen Cable has. It's like, Oh, it's Robo Sand. So yeah, guys, we're just this the press setup area with Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. Here we are. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Friggin' made it. Transform cartoon first air. In what year? What year? Yes, sir. All right, guys. It is 5 a.m. in New York. It's the day after the premiere. We're headed back home. It's an amazing trip. Like it's amazing how much we did in the small time we were here. And the movie was what the heck? That was a that was a wild movie. But I kind of enjoyed it like i really really had a good time i did put an initial tweet out there but i just wanted to say thank you guys for coming along the journey with us it was phenomenal i mean the fact that i even had the opportunity to do this like i didn't think I, this was gonna happen when i got the invite i didn't really know what i was in for but i took a leap of faith and here we are it's uh it's crazy to 
all that happened last night. And so I just want to thank you guys for the support and for the love and just being there and being a part of the nation and part of the journey, kind of like going along it with me. Uh, I don't feel alone with, with you guys and I'm really grateful for everything. So that's the, the gist of this. So I will see you later. I'm going to take the flight to All or One. We'll catch up. Oh yeah, yours are not. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts are green. Oh. I can push the box for a while. You are heading back, my guy. Thank you so much. Absolutely. For Wouldn't being there. Wouldn't have missed it. Absolutely crazy. But we did it. We freaking did it. I'm gonna head back, get some rest, and uh, put all the stuff out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, shout out to Nick's Plastic Shelf. My man helped me out. I couldn't have done it without him. The filming, just you know, being there, extra person, the weird Ubers, <laughs> the fun venue around New York too as well. Yeah. The Brooklyn Bridge, Times Square. Wouldn't have missed it. Yes, it was Wouldn't fantastic. It. I Hope got you. Hope you have a safe travel back and enjoy the skies one last time, I guess, you know, for right now. For sure, man. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know, the next premiere, I don't Part know. Part three. I don't know, hey, yo, three. hey, yo. Part three, TFCon. <laughs> yes, sir. New York, let's go. Yes, sir. I'm heading back to my gate, and you're heading to yours. Yep, down that way. So, I'll see you later, man. Till all in one. Till all in one, man. Yes, sir. Heading back home, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of the video when I get back in town and do a short recap of the trip. But overall, I'm absolutely blown away by how amazing that was. I'll see you guys back when I get in the Bayou State, baby. <laughs> Louisiana. I'll see y'all soon. fall at Alfonso Nation Studios after the craziest thing what the heck is going on I don't I, I, I don't know what all that was but you guys were along the journey with me it has been a blast the movie was incredible obviously you guys at this point by the time you see this vlog you know my red carpet vlog and then my review Horizon to Bees will already be released. So there's just kind of like some lanyap, you know, some extra icing on the cake to just kind of, you know, I guess reflect on the whole thing. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. Wow, that was incredible. And there's a whole lot that I couldn't put in the video that happened and I can't mention. That's also just incredible. But I'm so glad to have been able to record as much as possible and get that stuff out for you guys to kind of experience with me. And what a movie for to like do all of that for, because that movie was sick. It was, I mean, it wasn't like a Michael Bay film. It didn't have that energy, but it had so many things we didn't get yet, you know, in the Michael Bay film. Like, so many things we never got the focus on in the Bay film. So that's kind of what I love about this. But man, seeing Michael Bay there, I couldn't get a picture with him. I did see Steve McCable Jr. I saw Peter Cullen. I saw Peter Dinklage. I saw Pete Davidson. I saw Liza Koshy. I saw, uh, man, David Sobolov. I saw Ron Perlman. I saw uh, John DiMaggio. I saw a lot of people there. I just couldn't get... Uh, like get a photo with them and I wanted to get a photo with Stephen Capel, Anthony Ramos, Dominique Fishback. I saw all of them on the carpet, but I wasn't able to like get interviews with them because the time that it took for them to get to our side of the press pool was pushing it really close to the premiere of the movie. Like they were about to start the movie inside the theater, so I had a choice to make. Uh, because if they start the movie, you can't like walk in late. You have to be in there when they started. When they like when the doors close, they're not opening the doors again. 
and the the like the big people the big dogs were still like taking group shots and taking group pictures and taking photos they didn't actually finish doing their media like the press rounds so i had a, i had a choice to make am i gonna just sit around and wait for them or am i gonna watch the movie like so i said you know what i came here for the movie yeah I mean, i'm not gonna miss the movie <laughs> at the premiere of the movie so i said you know what i'm not gonna get any photos or pictures with them but I saw them and that's good enough for me. I'm still having a great time. I want to go see the movie. So I went ahead and I went inside. Uh, me and Nick went inside. Now we did see Ron Perlman. He was walking into the theater when we were like putting up our camera gear. And so he waved at us. I, and I did get Michael Bay's attention. Um, he, he didn't make his press rounds, but he was walking across. He was really busy. He was like going back and forth constantly. And I said, I uh, love you, Mr. Bay. And he looked over and he goes, like that, and he just kept going. So I got a little bit of a, I got, I got, I got a little, I got a little sorry. <laughs> I'll take it, honestly, I'll take that little bit of an acknowledgement for Michael Bay. I mean, it's nothing, but it's a lot to me, so it was cool. Um, I saw Peter Cullen multiple times, just couldn't get close to him. A lot of people, a lot of crowds, a lot of pictures and photographers, and a lot of chaos. But um, I got recognized a couple times, which is also kind of strange, you know, like one, female influencer she was doing the media in the little pool with us and she came over she was like hey alfonso i'm, I'm a fan of your channel i watch so she was nice and so we exchanged information with her and then two people from paramount came up to us to just kind of you know give their best wishes and say that they're glad that i made it just you know really cool people special thanks to everybody involved paramount pictures skydance porsche Stephen capel Jonique Bonton, a bunch of people for just making this a reality for us. And genuinely, like real talk, it, that was one of my biggest dreams. Like aside from meeting Peter Cullen, one of my biggest dreams as a creator was to attend a, a, a premiere. And now it's done, so now I don't know what next. <laughs> like I've uh, fulfilled two really big milestone or dreams, if you want to call it, you know, wh whichever you want to call it. I fulfilled those two very, like, both of them in one year. Uh, but I'm very grateful, though, and I just want to thank you guys for watching this vlog and for watching this whole experience and kind of being along the journey with us and, you know, just for supporting the channel. Um, I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break um, from, you know, creating content just for a little bit. I have some videos already created that I just have to edit and put out. But after that, I want to get a little bit of a break because, you know, running three platforms solo and like doing all the videos and keeping up with the news and also working full time, um, like my day job and everything, that that was a lot. I mean, I love what I do, so I didn't really, it didn't mind. But now that the movie's out and now that, you know, people can kind of relax a little bit, I want to take that time to take a break because... At the end of the year, it's going to be time to kick off for the 2024 movie news. So it's going to be a whole nother anticipation cycle, a whole nother road too. <laughs> but um, I want to take some 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 breaks. Now, when I say take a break, I'm not mean I'm just going to like leave. You know, I might just only do live streams, for example, or I might only do like certain things here and there, smaller content, not like you know fully edited videos and all that craziness. I mean, I might. We'll see here and there. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and the whole experience of my, my first trip in New York and also the red carpet. And once again, shout out to my guy Nick for helping me with everything, for being there, just hanging out, being super cool with everything. I couldn't have done it without you, my guys. So thank you so, so much. I really appreciate everything that you do. And yeah, that's it. If you're new, subscribe. If you like the video, like it. Drop a comment below if you'd like. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Till all are one.